All right, so let's talk about um, the two types of kind of nucleophiles we're talking about here, or the three types actually, enols and enamines, all right, enol, en, alkene, all, and enamine, which we've seen before. These are done in acidic conditions, right? So things with plus charges a lot of times. And then enolates, which we've seen a lot of too, uh, these are done in basic conditions and have the negative charge here. Now the interesting thing about both of these, the position that is the nucleophile is always the alpha position, right? That is the nucleophile in all of these, the alpha position. Whether it's acidic or basic conditions, the alpha position is the nucleophile. And let's see how this actually reacts, right? So be careful, even if it has a negative charge here, this is the part that actually has um, the electron density and that's where the nucleophile is gonna react with the electrophile. So electrophile we've seen before in BR2, um, very similar mechanisms here. The electrons come down, breaking the OH bond. Pi bond reacts, breaks the BRBR bond. What does that give us? That gives us a bromine and H plus and a BR minus, right? Which can restart the thing again. Um, you could even possibly keep bromine in there if you wanted to. Enamine, same type of thing. Uh, looks a little different because there's no H to fall off, but same idea. Three arrows. Now you're left with, of course, we always want to balance our charges. Right? You're getting a bromine at the alpha position and a BR minus. And of course, you all know this. This is at aminium, and if you want to get rid of this, you can just use acid and water uh, to hydrolyze that back to the ketone. And actually, get the same product here. Basic conditions, a little different, a little simpler, perhaps. Uh, again, three arrows, electrons come down, pi bond reacts, bromine bromine bond breaks. Again, basic conditions, so we know we have to have uh, negative charges in these ones. Right? These are really kind of acidic. They're certainly neutral. They're not basic, right? So a plus charge here. And they probably would have started with a little bit of acid uh, to get to your enols and enamines. But back to the basic uh, enolates, negative charge of the electron density of the alpha carbon. Does this, essentially this is a substitution reaction, right? In both these cases, these are just like SN2 reactions. And you get to the same products. Right. But obviously different charges and different conditions. Um, but again, common things, three arrows in all of these. Balancing the charges is a little different, uh, but it's like an SN2 type reaction.